What's up guys, Tonged Up. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I've been doing some uh, firewood splitting and uh, my log splitter took a dump. So I have a hydraulic leak. So here's the uh, controller I disassemble. And basically there is uh, a couple right there. They mount the uh, controller to the hydraulic ram. And I got this piece out right here, and this part right here is snapped off. And the remainder of the uh, coupler is still stuck in here. So all the weight is supported by this little coupler over here. And what happens is uh, when you're constantly using it, you put pressures on it, it or sometimes you might hit something and you could uh, cause this part here, cause this coupler right here to uh, snap off. And this, I'm gonna give it a try and see if I can remove this uh, piece right here because this control along by itself gonna cost me over a hundred bucks for it. So I got my welder ready and I got a nut that I'm going to use. So I got this nut right here. Once I build enough of the uh, the weld inside, I'm going to put this on top of here, continue welding until I got enough to hold the, uh, the this broken part right here. And I'm going to use uh, an impact driver to loosen it up since I don't have a clamp to uh, clamp on something to hold this thing in place. If I try to use a, a breaker bar or something, this whole thing will spin. I don't have enough leverage. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, clean up the surface and weld this nut on there. Up, I put a piece of uh, wet paper inside the hole here to keep any kind of debris from falling in there. I wet it so this way it won't catch on fire. And uh, let me go ahead and start welding. Cool down for a second. Woo! Got it out. Right there. Didn't damage the threads, that's good. Take out the, see you got a little, tiny little well droplings right there. If we don't put some paper in there, it could fall in there 
it can cause problems. Alright, that'll save me like about a hundred bucks or so. Also, I got another one over here. That was uh, broken as well. And I tried to remove it using the extraction tool. Try to use this right here. All I did is just basically round it off didn't really work so I made many attempts and I failed these are the nuts I tried to use these are those these are smaller nuts compared to the, this original one I used uh, so what happened is that it failed because every time I tried to weld in there you can tell the contact you can see the weld is not as much to so every one of them end up snapping off because it was not biting that good in there and so I gave up on using the nut because if I have a bigger nut then it should be no problem I was able to keep welding it and the center be nice and big so I can attach the nut to it since these nuts are a little smaller uh, I tried all five attempts I, if it failed so since I didn't have a bigger nut and so what happened is like uh, I keep welding it, extend it out further and further and allow me to attach just another piece of pipe onto it. I just hit with a hammer and it came undone. You can see the weld here is nice and thick. So it's holding on nice, nicely and that's how I got it off. If you have a bigger nut it's easier to weld inside the nut, so that's why you build up more welds in there. But in my case, uh, these small nuts right here didn't work so good. So this method works if you don't have uh, a big nut. All right, so I hope this video is helpful on uh, removing broken uh, pipes, threads, out of your uh, whatever equipment you have. So I, I saved that one right there, and I saved this one right here as well. So this is about a couple hundred bucks right there with the controllers I was able, that I'm able to reuse it again. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.